here we go. So I will prepare my medication according to the six rights. So right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. And then I will check the mark of my order. I will get the correct medication, check the vial for any cracks, anything like that. If it's a multi-dose vial, I will check for um, the previous nurses and nurses on the time they opened it. So now I'll uncap my vial. Okay. <laughs> and then I will cleanse the top with an alcohol swab, breaking out. So I'll discard that one. And I'll uncap my needle. Maybe I'll uncap my needle. There we go. I'll draw in enough air. It's equal to the medication dose I'll be giving. Insert the needle. Inject the air. And then draw back the medication. And I'll get out all the air bubbles. Recap my needle using the one hand technique. Alright, so now we'll go into the patient's room. Okay, so I will identify my patient using two patient identifiers, so name and date of birth. Um, I'll double check my patient's allergies, the medication, the dose, the route, and the time. And then I'll explain to them what I'm doing. So I'm going to be giving uh, tuberculin shot today and I'll be doing it intradermally on the inside of their forearm. So then I will glove up. Okay. And I'll clean the area. Okay, and then discard my alcohol swab. Uncap the needle and we'll insert it bevel up. And I'll pull the patient's, after I allow the alcohol to dry, pull the patient's skin back. Insert the needle at a five degree angle, about an eighth of an inch. And I'll insert the medication. Okay. And I'll dispose of my needle in the sharps container. And I'll block the area. Any blood, discard that, and then I will draw a one inch circle around the wheel and explain to them. So, we did do a tuberculin, so they'll have to come back in 48 hours to check for any reaction or anything like that, and then I'll document what I did, where I did it.